Good afternoon. We begin with breaking news this lunchtime. There's been a large explosion at a warehouse in Avonmouth in Bristol. The police, uh, multiple fire crews and ambulances are all at the scene. Our reporter Andrew Plant is also there and he joins us now. Uh, Andrew, what can you tell us? Hi, David. Yeah, it's been fairly chaotic here for the last hour or so, as you can probably imagine. This is as close as we can get you because we think what's happened is probably a couple of hundred metres down that lane there, but obviously that's in constant use by the emergency services at the moment. You can see there are lots of them here, so we can't get any closer. We don't want to get in their way. Uh, people might recognise that, actually, particularly if you live in Bristol. It is King's Western Lane. At the very end of that is the municipal recycling site, so lots of people will have probably used it at some time or another, but there are lots of other businesses here too. There is a waste treatment works. We think some energy generation on site too. Now, this is what we understand happened. The details are a bit vague, I'm afraid. I'll tell you exactly what I know. We know that the emergency services were called just after 20 past 11 today by a member of the public who said that they had heard a very loud explosion here. We have uh, had word from Avon Fire today. They said uh, they think the explosion was in a warehouse at a water treatment works, and they say there are multiple casualties. We have also had word that people might be missing inside, although we haven't had uh, that confirmed by anyone at the moment. Uh, but, as I say, lots going on here. I'm just going to show you a bit of, uh, of the uh, fire brigade getting their suits on. That's happening over there. And if you come this way, you can see in that direction there are uh, fire engines lined up all the way along that water treatment works there. You probably can't see behind the bushes, but you can just pick them out if you're here. So all a bit chaotic. We'll try and get answers as the day goes on, but there are lots of questions, of course. We don't know exactly what has caused this explosion here. We don't know how many people are injured, and we don't know how bad yet those injuries are. Andrew, thank you very much.